Hi, my name is Bethany Lee. My equestrian style, equestrian podcast, and equestrian workshop are my Instagram handles, and I am 27 years old. I first got into riding because my older sister rode horses, and she is six years older than me. So it was just one of those things that I wanted to do what my, my, what my big sister was doing. So I started getting into lessons when um, I was about four or five years old. I became an influencer uh, first through my uh, fashion lifestyle platform, My Equestrian Style. And I started because my husband and I had been wedding photographers when we lived in Los Angeles. And then when we moved to Florida, um, I had been used to taking pictures of fashion bloggers and um, wedding clients and really liked that part. And always in the back of my head, I thought that it would be cool to do something with fashion and photography and something like that. So when we moved to Florida and I was riding full time and in riding clothes every day, um, I remember thinking like, you know what? I should just have my husband take some pictures of me because I'm in riding clothes anyway. So it just kind of turned it um, turned into that from there, just taking a bunch of pictures and um, realizing that there wasn't a lot of other equestrian specific influencers in the space when I started. So um, just started posting consistently and it grew to my equestrian style and then branched off into the equestrian podcast and the equestrian workshop. My favorite Aztec diamond outfit, <sighs> that is hard. I wear Aztec diamond stuff literally all the time because something that I love about AD is that they have something for every occasion, no matter what you're doing. I'm really into fitness. I love being at home. I love riding and it just like covers all the bases. So I love this Aztec diamond hoodie. Um, it's perfect for everything, whether I'm going to the gym or running errands or even riding. It's great. It's good as a layering piece. Um, but I also really like their, uh, their knit sports bras, their knit underwear. I believe I have both of those on right now. Um, they're super comfortable. Um, you don't see panty lines with the underwear, so I really like that. Um, I also love their riding leggings. I used to be totally against riding leggings. I wanted the classic breeches no matter what. But then I love the versatility of the riding leggings because they're perfect for working out in and then you don't have to change to head to the barn. So I love the versatility of them and they're just super flattering and really, really comfortable. Favorite AD product is probably the riding leggings. I have a pair of black Aztec Diamond riding leggings and I'm probably wearing them every other day until I have to put them through the wash, but I love them. I love that they have side pockets, love that they're high-waisted, they're super flattering and really versatile. No matter what I'm doing, they work for me to wear. Three equestrian products I couldn't live without are probably, probably, I think finding a pair of riding pants or leggings that fits you really well is hard to come by because we all come in different shapes and sizes. One would be um, some good layering tops. Um, not just, I, I love a good long sleeve quarter zip, but finding a couple crew neck or v-neck pieces that you can kind of layer on top of each other, especially if you're riding all day. My biggest achievement so far would probably have to be the Equestrian Podcast. Um, I feel like it has been my little baby and it was something I love fashion, love photography, I've loved the community I built with my equestrian style. But then being able to go a step further and having some discussions with top athletes and trainers and other professionals in the industry to talk about areas of the industry that aren't normally talked about. Um, we are celebrating 100,000 listens since starting the podcast in January 2019. So I feel like that's like a little proud mom moment. I don't have any children of my own, so my little business ventures and my dog are like my little babies. So. Things I always have in my grooming bag, always have a towel, no matter what. I always have an extra pair of ear palms because you never know where and when your horse is going to shake out an ear palm in the middle of the show ring or on the way up to the ring. So always good to have that. Love to always have peppermints around um, to let them know that they're being good boys. We describe my style as 
neutral, minimal, would like to think chic. <laughs> I try to put pieces together that no matter what time I look back on a picture or an outfit, the style is still timeless. My favorite part of being a riding instructor is seeing the light bulb go off in my students when I can finally verbalize something that I want them to work on and you just see it go off, you see it click, and then you see them go do it and just everything starts working out and they understand a new concept.